our reflections today, I will focus on three points. Today's Ash Wednesday begins the season of Lent. So what is the purpose of Lent? There are different ways of expressing it. But simply put, is this to help us to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul. It's a season for repentance and renewal. Renewal in the life of the Spirit. As Wednesday opens with the blessing and imposition of ashes, we are reminded, remember, you are dust, and to dust you will return. Or we are challenged, turn away from your sin and believe in the gospel. The ashes remind us of our human fragility and the impermanence of our life. The cross on our forehead symbolizes the regaining of our lost dignity and friendship with God. So we are called upon to regain the lost graces during this season through a process of repentance and renewal. But for today's uh, imposition of the ashes, we won't mark the cross on your forehead uh, for reason which you know very well. We will sprinkle the ashes on top of your head afterwards. Then, in the Gospel, Jesus teaches that renewal comes through the practice of three basic spiritual disciplines, almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. These three spiritual practices sum up the challenge of the season in the word ash, A-S-H. A is for almsgiving. We practice love and compassion for our less fortunate brothers and sisters and attend to their needs. We practice our traditional corporal and spiritual works of mercy. S is for sacrifice that underlies fasting. We mortified ourselves, we mortified our bodies, which grave for human pleasure and comfort and convenience, so as to find our true pleasure and happiness in loving and serving God and God alone. When we fast and then feel the hunger and thirst, we pray with our body. It is easy to pray with our words. But when we pray, not only with our words, but also with our body, we are praying with our whole person. In our self-denial, we seek to be in solidarity with the poor and share our blessings with them. But beside body fasting, Another kind of fast is what we call mental fasting. Our minds are filled with thoughts, all kinds of thoughts, feelings and emotions. So, sisters and brothers, why not 
twice a day, twice a day, for ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, because since our mind is always on the switch on mode, switch on mode, eh? twice a day we change it to a switch off mode. That means don't think. Eh? We think too much. Eh? Our minds filled with thoughts, images, emotions, and so on. Eh? This is a practice of detoxing our mind. So not only our body need to be detoxed, our mind also need to be detoxed. So in the, in the process of detoxing or purifying our body and mind of all the toxic within us, we also detox and purify our spirit. So we call this the practice of meditation. H is for holiness that is nurtured by prayer. To be holy is to be in loving fellowship with Jesus. It is to make Jesus the center of our lives. So in prayer, we try to align our lives to Jesus and make Him rule over every areas of our life. So the church fathers will say, if we pray fast, if we fast, show mercy. But then, during the time of Jesus, it is taken for granted that the Jews practice these so-called three pillars of Jewish piety, almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. So Jesus took it for granted that they practice all these things. So in today's gospel, actually Jesus reminds the disciples to see that the practice with the right motivation. So we are invited to examine our conscience as we practice these three basic expressions of piety. Why examine? Because we can do these things in a very mechanical way. If that is the case, no effect, huh? no benefits. Or worse, only to be seen, to be known, and thought of as a good, pious, observant believers. Praying, almsgiving, fasting, all these are good, are very good, they are essential, they are good in themselves, but they should not be performed just to impress people. And to be praised and admired by them. We are seeking the glory which is due to God and God alone. And that is what we call vain glory. Often this motive is hidden from our consciousness because it is unconscious. So Jesus insists on the right motivation to please the Heavenly Father alone. Only the Father, in fact, can give the reward that loves to give alms, pray and fast for show to impress people has its reward on earth but not in heaven. Thus, the Lenten season is an opportunity for us to purify our motives and intensify our desires to please the Heavenly Father in everything we do and not to please others and not to please ourselves because the danger is always of doing a good work with the intention of being known, of being seen, just to impress people and to be admired and praised by them. This is ego satisfaction. 
sometimes in Malaysia, only for shocks and theory. So we should not seek reward for our good works, not from people, but from the Heavenly Father, who knows very well what we need. And when we do these things in secret, God sees them and blesses us unto eternal life. Jesus calls those who seek public recognition and praise hypocrites, which literally mean play acting actors. When we seek attention and praise from the public for any good works, we do not meet God's standard, which is purity of intention and purity of heart. Man is a social being, living and acting in a community. So good as well as bad actions are not done in isolation. They are seen and no matter how hidden, covered acts will eventually be revealed. However, our actions may be motivated by an intention other than perceived by other people. So sisters and brothers, let us be mindful. Huh? Is it mindful living of a habit seven, which means be aware of our motivations in everything we do. Cultivate purity of heart, true the daily practice of silent contemplative prayer or Christian meditation, our habit number six, and you will experience purification and renewal of the heart. So this is purification from inside out. It's not external. Amen. Thank you.